Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make Benjamin the Beaver. Pretty quick. Let's get started. You're going to need all of the materials listed down in the description. To get started, you're going to need a body made in taupe. You're going to need light almond. I'm using burnet blanket yarn. You use whatever color you prefer. Natural beavers naturally have darker tails than their fur, but burnet blanket yarn does not make a darker color than taupe, so that's kind of not an option for me. But the contrast is not bad, so we'll be using light almond or baby almond. Let's make work a magic ring. There's a tutorial here. And you're, I'm using a K or 6.5 millimeter. There's a link in the description or whatever you need to match this gauge. I'm gonna work six single crochet into this magic ring. Three, four, five, six. And if I'm going too fast, there is a gear icon here that will allow you to change the speed. I had a troll comment on my last video telling me I was going too fast. And I'm recording in 4K, so um, yeah, the quality is not really going to diminish if you slow it down. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. In the first, this is the second round. First stitch, we're going to do an increase. Second stitch is an increase. Simply means two single crochet in the same stitch. Single crochet in the next stitch. So increase, increase, single crochet. Do that again. Increase, increase. And then silk crochet. That's the end of round two. Running stitch marker video here. If you don't know what a running stitch marker is, but it's kind of self-explanatory. Now third round. Single crochet. Single crochet increase. Another single crochet increase. And then you do three single crochet. So one, two. Three. Now we're gonna do another increase. One more increase. And then we're gonna single crochet in each of these last two stitches here. One, two, see? And this is the start of the tail, as you can see. All right. The fourth round. Going to single crochet two, so one and then two. I'm going to do an increase. And now a second increase. We're going to single crochet in each of the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna do increase in each of the next two stitches. So increase, another increase. And now we're going to single crochet in the last three stitches. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, running stitch marker. Okay, from that was rounds one through four. Now you're going to do eight rounds of single crochet in each stitch. So I'll do this first one. Just gonna single crochet in each stitch around. Then when you get to end, the end of it, flip your running stitch marker and do seven more. And I will speed this up so it's a little more fun to watch. And you can pause until you're finished.
All right, that's 12 rounds. We're finished with the tail. Now slip stitch in the next stitch. Chain one. We have a long tail for snowing. Sewing, not snowing, my word. Pull through. And now set this aside. And next we're going to do the ears. Okay, now for the ears, we're gonna be using taupe again. So we have a long enough tail for sewing. Slip knot and chain two. Then to the second chain, we are going to single crochet three. One, two, three. All right, now chain one and turn. And we're gonna do single crochet increase in this first stitch. Single crochet three in this middle stitch. One, two, three, and then single crochet two, or an increase in this last stitch. Right now, chain one, long tail, pull through. Make another one, just like that. And then we're ready to make the muzzle. All right, we're gonna be using taupe again for the muzzle. Work a magic ring. And single crochet five into that magic ring. Five. Close the magic ring. Now we're going to work a single crochet increase in each stitch. First stitch. Second stitch. Third stitch. Fourth stitch. And fifth stitch. All right, and now we're gonna single crochet in each stitch. So 10, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now slip stitch to the next stitch. Chain one, long tail for sewing, pull through. And we're ready to assemble Benjamin. The assembly, we're actually going to start with Benjamin's teeth. So we need, you need your yarn needle, a strand of white yarn, a strand of black yarn, and your top body piece. So thread your needle. And we're gonna turn this around so the tail's on the other side, make this more even. All right, now one, two, three, four up. It's four rows up. Pull it through. And now we're gonna go two more rows up. Like that. Pull it through. All right, now, nice and tight. Now go one stitch over to the left. Pull that over. You get the idea we're making a little rectangle. All right, now you wanna fill in that rectangle. So 
So make sure your needle is on the inside edge of that white strand at the top. And again on the inside edge at the bottom. Repeat that on the other side. Inside edge. Inside edge. All right. You can fluff it all up, get it all nice and even. Now, you need your strand of black yarn. Thread your needle. And then we're gonna do what we did with the white. We're gonna try to keep it in center. The central strands. Like that. But you want it on the outside edge this time. All right. And then the outside edge at the top as well. Make sure that falls in the center. And there you go. It looks ridiculous right now, but tie off all your strands, make sure it's how you want it, and then cut the ends about there so it doesn't interfere later. Okay, and now for the muzzle. I'm going to need a 12 millimeter safety eye, or larger, depending on your preference and a shank for it. Shank on. Oof. These ones are much harder than, and of course I dropped it. These ones are much harder than the 10 millimeters I usually use for my other projects. There we go. Okay. All right, and now we're gonna take that center strand and thread it through our needle. Just gonna put the nose here, and we're gonna put it through there to hold it on while we sew. Right, and thread your needle with the other end. And start sewing it on. All right, do it like that all the way around, and we will move on to the eyes and ears. Okay, we're going to need our 12 millimeter eyes. We're going to place them one, two, three, four, five, six rows down, and six stitches apart, centered on this muzzle. Or nose, really, it's his nose. All right, and then put on your shanks. Now for the ears. Uh, Beaver's ears are virtually non-existent when you look at them from the front. When you look at them from the side, they're sort of like a little cave in the side of their head. That sounds so weird, but if you look at a picture of Beaver, you'll know what I mean. There's that. Okay. So you're going to need your ears. 
And the tricky bit. Gonna be the first bit. Alright. Thread the center bit. Center thread. Your starter thread. Your needle. We're gonna come to the side of his head. Along where the eyes are, and in the center of that area, we're gonna put on through that center end. Alright. And now we're gonna take longer end. And we're gonna sew his ear on like that. You can turn them forward, turn them back. Really, they're facing more down. All right. Okay, and now repeat that with his other ear on the other side of his head. All right, now, once, now that's done, we're going to move on to the tail. So, once again, take your center end. I hope that this is gonna help us keep it where it needs to be. We're gonna go turn it around, turn it around. And we're gonna find a center line. And then here, two rows up, we're gonna pull it through. Thread your other end on your needle. And we're going to sew along this line here. And then on the other side, we're gonna sew along this round, this line here. Once you're done with that, we will stuff him. Okay, once you've done that and tied off the ends, it's time Sew him up and stuff him. You need your stuffing and a needle, your needle, and the bottom piece. So I like to use a thread from the bottom piece, but you can use either one. Thread your needle and get whip stitching. Now it does show you how to do this in the body video, but I will just do it and speed it up for you. Okay, and now tie a square knot. And push the ends through. I like to use my crochet hook to fit to fix this bit. Alrighty. Okay. 
And Benjamin is finished. Such a cutie. All done. Thank you so much for watching. Hit like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!